Number 1. The Lake Toba Supervolcano It happened 74,000 years ago, and it was one of the Earth's largest explosive eruptions. It caused a global winter that lasted for years. Volcanic gases were ejected into both hemispheres and moved all around the planet. The eruption created the famous Lake Toba, which covers an area of 436 square miles. The Toba volcano is still active, and if a similar eruption happens again, it will directly affect both Indonesia and Malaysia. But Toba could also pump out enough gas to affect the whole world's climate. And just like last time, there will be cooler temperatures, increased amounts of ice, and a lot more snow. Countries and regions from northwestern Australia to East Africa might experience tsunamis. The world's economy could be damaged, plant life would struggle, and travel would be paralyzed. If the volcano reawakens, the only solution would be a mass evacuation. Number 2. The Helena Slump The possible collapse of the southern portion of the Kilauea volcano on the Big Island of Hawaii is a real danger. This area is called the Helena Slump, and it could drop 2,900 cubic miles of rock into the Pacific Ocean. That could generate a mega-tsunami that would spread around the Pacific and reach the western coast of North America in just a few hours. 120,000 years ago, a similar collapse occurred near Mauna Loa in Hawaii. It caused a tsunami with waves as high as the Taipei skyscraper, one of the world's tallest buildings. Right now, the slump is becoming deformed faster than any other oceanic island slump in the world. Pushed along by magma, it moves 4 inches per year toward the sea. But geologists believe that a mega-tsunami is unlikely to happen soon, because the slump is reinforced on some narrow land that prevents it from detaching from the volcano. Number 3. A North Sea Tsunami More than 6,200 years ago, the climate started getting warmer, and it caused ice to melt and the sea levels to rise. This made the underwater sediment around the edge of Norway much heavier and this caused a 180-mile-long coastal shelf to collapse. This event is known as the Three Storega Slides, which scientists think were among the largest submarine landslides to have ever occurred. When the shelf collapsed, it caused a mega-tsunami in the North Atlantic Ocean. Two things could have caused the collapse. One was a possible earthquake, which triggered an expansion of fire ice. These are deposits of ice containing methane molecules, and they usually appear at the bottom of the sea. Or it could be that ice carried trillions of tons of solid material to the edge of the coastal shelf where it melted. Then there was an earthquake, which caused a large area of the seafloor to collapse deeper into the sea. The wave was felt beyond the shores of Scotland and even went as far as Greenland. The result is the Ormond Lange, a natural gas field on the Norwegian continental shelf. But some scientists believe that a similar event could only occur after a new ice age, while others think that there's no significant risk of a new landslide happening at all. Number 4. The Cascadian Trench Big One At the bottom of the Pacific Ocean, off the west coast of North America, there's a subduction zone. That's when two tectonic plates meet and one starts to bend and slide below the other. The Cascadian Trench runs from Northern California to Vancouver Island. In this case, the oceanic floor is being forced beneath the North American landmass. The floor moves around 1.6 inches per year. But the upper part of the system is stuck, and now the North American plate is compressed. The pressure keeps building up there, and it needs to be released. It might happen in the form of a magnitude 9 earthquake. This might cause the coast to sink by 6.5 feet and could make it move horizontally. And after the earthquake tails off, the coast could experience a tsunami similar to the wave that hit Japan in 2011. Scientists have calculated that in the last 10,000 years, the area has experienced 41 large earthquakes. The last magnitude 9 tremor occurred in January 1700. Experts currently believe there's a 37% chance that a 7.1 magnitude tremor will occur in the next 50 years. Number 5. The Sun's Big One Luckily for us, one of the worst solar flares ever recorded happened when our civilization wasn't vulnerable to the fury of the sun. It's known as the Carrington Event. It happened in September 1859, long before the development of modern technology. 
a huge wave of plasma and magnetic field washed over the Earth's own protective magnetic layer. This produced an enormous solar storm. This led to intense auroras that lit up the skies. But aside from the pretty lights, the strong electrical currents that came with the storm had major consequences. The telegraph communication systems covering both Europe and North America went down. Fires blazed, and disconnected power supplies kept relaying their eerie messages. In 1989, another bad solar storm struck the Earth. The most extreme results were seen in Quebec, Canada. The power grid went totally offline, and 6 million people were left without electricity. Since solar flares happen often, some scientists predict that another powerful storm will occur soon. They've named it the Big One. Big solar storms like this happen only once every 500 years. Scientists believe it'll be powerful enough to knock out electrical and communication systems around the world for days, months, or even years. Number 6. A new asteroid impact Once every few million years, an object appears from space that's large enough to threaten civilization. The asteroid or comet that wiped out the dinosaurs was about 7 to 50 miles in diameter. If a similar rock comes along again, then this is what would happen. First, the impact might cause a tsunami, although this depends on whether the rock falls into the middle of the ocean or on dry land. A cloud of hot dust, ash, and steam will spread out from the impact crater. Debris and pieces of the asteroid will be thrown out of the atmosphere by the blast. They'll be heated by radiation, and if they fall back to Earth, they could ignite wildfires. The shock from the impact will meanwhile trigger global earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Dust and other particles could cover the planet's surface for years, creating a harsh environment that would be difficult to survive in. To prepare for this scenario, some scientists are designing a conceptual asteroid deflector. The idea is to send explosives out to the asteroid. This would destroy parts of its surface and hopefully change its orbit. Number 7. Yellowstone Volcano Located underneath Yellowstone National Park in the U.S., the Yellowstone Supervolcano is one of the most actively monitored places on the planet. It's experienced three supereruptions in the past two million years. The last one occurred 640,000 years ago – I wasn't around then – and created a sunken giant crater with an area of 1,500 square miles. If it erupts again, the consequences could be worse than the Toba event, because most of the ash will fall onto land instead of in the sea. The last eruption spread volcanic ash across both American continents. All vegetation might cease to exist, and animals could end up breathing in toxic chemicals. The ground would become brighter, and incoming radiation would reflect back into the atmosphere. This could cause a lengthy drought. Water supplies would become blocked up. Electricity lines would fail and there would be major disruptions to transport. Gee, I think it's time to stock up on toilet paper. <laughs>